Hi guys and welcome back. So today I have another quick and easy trick for you that I really hope you're going to enjoy. Okay, so we're just going to shuffle the cards. The spectator can pick any card. So let's say they pick this one, for example. So I'm going to look away, but you make sure to look at it and remember it. Okay, I hope you got that. So they're going to return the card wherever they want. Let's say they return it right here. Just going to lose it into the pack, just like this. Maybe one more shuffle. And I'm going to try to find your card. Hmm. Okay, so I think that your card actually might be this card right here. Okay, so is this your card? No, it's not. Hmm. Okay, well, is this your card then? No? Hmm, weird. That, is that your card? Hmm. Okay, let's, let's try something else. Okay, so how many cards do you think I'm turning over right now? 52? Well, it might seem that way, but actually, I only turned over 51 cards. Because I let one card be, one card and one card only. So what was your card? Hopefully it was the king of hearts. Okay, so let's talk about how we can do this trick. Okay guys, I hope you liked that little performance. And if you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're going through the Royal Road to Card Magic, one of the best books for beginners. You will learn all the basics of card magic if you subscribe. And right now we're going through the double lift chapter. And this trick is called Throat and Consequences. It's a weird name. It's on page 150, 150. So for this trick, it's completely impromptu. And it's a nice little reverse trick. It's very straightforward, easy to do, and you can probably come up with a better presentation than I did. I'm just going to show you the handling and it's up to you to come up with a presentation that suits you. So we have a shuffle deck of cards. The spectator can pick any card they want. So let's say they pick this one, the six of diamonds. Now we're going to control it to the top however we want, but one nice way of doing it is the overhand shuffle control, which you can learn in the video popping up right now. So we shuffle till they say stop, we let them return the card, we injog the next card, we shuffle off, we form a break at the injog and shuffle to the break and throw on top. So now their card is on top. And now we go, hmm, I'm going to try and find your card. So we just spread through the cards and we just take a random card. Um, I have a feeling for this one. And as we close the spread, we make sure to take a break under the top card. And we rotate this card out and we place it on top here. And we go, is this your card? And they go, no. So we pick up those two cards. So their card is on the bottom here. And we turn this over and we go, okay, well, is this your card then? And they go, no. You place this on top and you do another cut. Okay, well, is this your card then? And they go, no again. And you say, well, I'm going to try something else or whatever you want to say. So I'm going to turn over 51 cards like this. Hopefully one card stays the same. And then I like anyways to, <laughs> to spread the cards face up show that okay one card is face down hmm which card can it be and then you show them that it's their card so it's straightforward easy to do i hope you like this and if you did like the video subscribe and see you in the next video